Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter and today is what sold on eBay for June 29th through July 5th. I had a pretty good week in sales. Um, not, I mean, not amazing or anything. Just decent, especially for summer. Uh, got this guy, I was cleaning him up, so I'm like, eh, why not make a thumbnail out of him? This is a huge monster, Curious George. Look at this guy. I think he's like four feet tall. Eh. <laughs> his hands are filthy though. You can see, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, there's, you can see his hands are filthy. So, And I can't throw them in the washing machine. So I'm going to have to do these guys by hand. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's get on to the video. Show you how I did for this week. Alrighty. Uh, total sales, I did $2,741.91. That's from June 29th through July 5th. Uh, selling costs, 700 and net sales is $1,940.89. Like I've said before, I don't know how accurate that is. Um, when I do taxes and stuff later, that I'll figure all that out. But I am not going to figure out eBay... <laughs> Uh, eBay the way they do it. Uh, sales for the last 31 days. Uh, I'm down 21%. 21.1% compared to the last 31 days. Uh, compared to the same period a year ago, I'm still up 62%. So I'm still very happy with that. Alright, on to the, sh the items. Or collectibles, I should say. Uh, Rigel... This is from Far Escape, which is a Jim Henson. I think it's a movie or a program. Anyways, um, I just had a bunch of these. I, I found these guys. And just had a bunch of stuff left over. So I'm like, eh, why not throw it into like a little lot? It has like a bag and a notebook and a pin. Um, they sold pretty fast. I think I only had it up for a month. All three that I had sold for $19.79. Beyblade Burst, uh, if you saw my uh, an opening, or <laughs> opening for uh, uh, GameStop, I bought a huge, huge lot from GameStop. Um, these were in it, and all eight of them sold for $17.99. Uh, they sold pretty fast, so maybe I listed them kind of low. I didn't know Beyblade was that popular, but obviously it is. Um... This is another one from that same opening. This is uh, one of the Deadpool Gamer Funko Pops. Uh, all three of them sold already for fifteen twenty nine. Uh, Finding Dory or Finding Nemo towels. I've had these for a long time. I decided to start marking them down. Uh, was selling them for like fourteen fifteen, and decided to put it down to twelve ninety nine just to start getting rid of them because I had a, a huge lot of them, probably like twenty twenty five. Anyways, uh, four sold so far for eleven sixty nine. So trying to liquidate some of those because all the other towels are selling, but that one's just like hanging on. Uh, this is another Funko Pop from the huge haul that I got. Uh, this is Chase. This is a Chase Miles Morales. You can see his face uh, from Spider Man. So I guess you know a secret identity. <laughs> Anyways, he sold for $17.09. Uh, Loot Crate Alien Pencil Sharpener. I've showed you guys these um, in the past. All fi They all finally sold. This was my last one. All eight sold for $26.99. So very good uh, profit on these little pencil sharpeners that I didn't even think it might not even get like 10 bucks for. Uh, put them up high and they all sold, which was great it's amazing uh, Christmas ornaments um, they sell all year round this is little Yoda guy you can see I mean with the popularity of the child and everything I mean Star Wars is hot right now uh, two so far have sold for twelve fifty nine. Uh, these were long live the bat this is a bat signal these were terribly damaged when they came from Loot Crate. You can see the box is all smashed. It was bad. They put like, I forget what they put on it. So when it slid over, it was like smashing it. Um, I had to check all, all of them that I got because, uh, like I said, they were really smashed. But anyways, um, even though they were smashed, they all four of them sold for 
40 49 to all the way to 45 i believe the first one sold for 45 so yeah even though they were smashed they still sold this is a pdp pixel pal this is elder scrolls got this from gamestop i believe for like three dollars one of their clearance um kind of ugly <laughs> I love Skyrim, but this thing was kind of a mistake to pick. It was ugly. I mean, it sold, but it was ugly. <laughs> so keep it that way. Uh, he sold for $13.49. Pokeball Plus uh, for Pokemon Let's Go games. These sold so fast. One guy even buy, bought seven of them. Um, I still have, I believe, eight more. I haven't listed because they came in uh, in a box later after my unboxing. So yeah, I just relisted those eight, and they're selling for twenty-eight seventy-nine. I listed them a couple dollars more, so I'll probably get around thirty dollars for those. But yeah, those sold super fast. Uh, Yoda, this guy I've had probably a good twenty, twenty-five of him. Had him sitting around. Didn't want to list him because he's a pain in the butt to ship. Anyways, I got him listed and they're selling slowly but surely. Uh, this last one sold for $67.49. And I think I have even one or two left. I think I have two left. I think I miscounted. So I think I got to put one back up. Uh, Deadpool Gamer. Um, this little guy. Eh. I mean, he wasn't anything great. I wouldn't have picked him up again. I believe I paid like three dollars for him, so he's he made ten forty nine plus. You have to take off the cost, so maybe made like seven eight dollars off him. But yeah, he took forever to sell. He was probably up for a good six seven months, so I probably would not pick up more of those. Uh, this is a uh, Chase uh, Deadpool with his mask off. Uh, this is out of the same uh, mystery box with the other Marvel guys. Pull out another Chase. Uh, he sold for $25.19 and both of them sold and they sold pretty fast. I only put them up maybe a week ago. This is a uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, Snake Stealth. That's one of the big statues if you watch that unopening. Or opening. Why do I keep saying unopening? <laughs> that means I didn't open but anyways, um, these are one of the big statues um, that I pulled out. I've got about 20 of them. So now uh, the first one sold for $35.99. And I have a bunch left over. All right, on to the plush. First plush, Rainbow Dash. This is a backpack. Uh, My Little Ponies are selling very well right now. So if you got any My Little Ponies, be sure to uh, put them up right now. Uh, this one sold for $17.99 with free shipping. So, yeah, didn't even have any 10% off or nothing on that one. And he just sold straight up. These Valentine dice, I never thought they would sell. Um, I mean, they're dice. I didn't. <laughs> uh, I was shocked the first time I sold dice, which was a couple of years ago. I was actually just re donating them when I had uh, dice in bags and never realized people love these dice so if you ever find these little cheap dice even if you have to pay like 50 cents or a dollar pick them up and throw them up i mean uh 50 cents into a or a dollar into 12.59 i mean you're making a good ten dollars yeah it's really cheap and especially if you can find duplicates and you can just relist kids prefer this is a realistic Look at his eyes. He, his eyes are awesome. Let's see if I did a close-up of his eyes. He's really a cool cat. See the dark blue in his eyes. They're not scratched. He's a real... Uh, he comes from Kid Preferred. So yeah, he's a real cool cat. He sold for $14.39. Uh, this is just a brown fox. Nothing special about this little brown fox. He's got a little like faux leather nose. From wildlife artists, but he still sold for twelve fifty nine, just for being a fox. <laughs> uh, you've sold, you've seen these guys in the past. These are the Mickey Mouse uh, plush kills cares. I uh, just thrown a lot together. Uh, twelve has sold so far, and I still have a bunch available. I might even have more than eighteen more sets. I have to count them when I get down farther. 
But anyways, they're selling for seventeen ninety nine, and I got them for I think it was like a dollar fifty each, and then um, there was a lot more discounts after that. Uh, Douglas Purple Sparkly Fur Octopus Bean Bag. This guy is really cool too. He's got all these little like glitter. You can see all these little glitter dots on him. Even though he's a uh, Douglas. Douglas is a pretty good brand. I thought he was Thai, but no, this is Douglas. It's a pretty good brand. If you ever find Douglas realistic uh, plush like this, for sure to pick him up. Uh, he sold for $15.29. Baby Gun, My First Teddy Bear. Um, don't usually pick these up because they're kind of plain. And you, for sure, if you're a baby toy, you have to wash them. So don't usually pick them up. But this was out of my huge Goodwill uh, Gaylord haul. So I got them. So I had to just list them. Better than redonating them. And I got twelve fifty nine for them. Cole's Care, Curious George. Uh, uh Nothing really great about him. I mean, Curious George is pretty popular still right now. Um, they sold in the store for like five dollars, so if I can get fourteen thirty nine for a used one, uh, what's great about Cole's Care is they don't reissue the toys. At least that not that I've seen. So once they're gone, they're gone. So if kids like damage their toy or rip off their heads, they're gonna need a replacement. So that's where you come in and you sell the toy. Australia koala bear love my koala bears ever since the fires in Australia people have been going crazy over koalas and kangaroos and all other platypuses and all other um, Australian wildlife uh, this one sold for sixteen nineteen. Hasbro puppy supply um, and these are hit and miss um, if you don't find them with puppies, they usually sit a while. Um, this one sat for, I think it only sat for like two months. But yeah, some of them will sit forever, especially if you don't have the puppies. But if you have the puppies, they go for a decent amount. For This one sold for $19.79. So when you um, get them, make sure you look in the belly and hopefully you got some puppies. And some of them do make noise. And those will sell for more. Uh, this is just a generic uh, Build-A-Bear. Uh, his feet were shaped for shoes, so I probably sold the shoes separately. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm sure I did. Anyways, uh, he sold for $13.49. So yeah. Didn't sell for much because he's just a generic uh, brown bear. Uh, Fiesta Scruffy White Curly Fur Dog. You can see he has a cool little like nose and feet. He's got the lines in his feet where you can actually feel where it indents. I forget what that's called. I used to know. <laughs> Anyways, um, 9.5 inches tall. He sold for $13.49. The Simpsons, Santa's Little Helper. I've had tons of these guys. Actually, this is one. Um, probably had, took this picture about four years ago. And... Since most, since I can find the same ones over and over again, I've been just using this listing, and they're selling. So I've probably had a good five or six of these over the last few years, and <laughs> I just kept the same listing. I just keep relisting it because they all look the same. Even the tag looks the same. Anyways, uh, he sold for seventeen ninety nine. Ty Beanie Babies tracks the cat. These inter these cats are really interesting. They got these long furry ears. They're really cool. Even for beanie babies, they sell. Um, he sold for um, eleven sixty nine. So not a ton of money, but hey, for a beanie baby, that's a lot of money for a baby baby. <laughs> you usually get like nine ten bucks, and you're you're happy. Mad Hatter, Alice in Wonderland. This is a Pookaloo's. They these are like little like pillows. They're like smashed. They they're not very popular. You can see even the Mad Hatter I didn't get tons of money for. Um, will I pick them up? Yeah, I'll pick them up, of course. I mean, if I can get them for 50 cents and sell them for $13, I'll pick them up. But they're not, you're not going to be a millionaire because of them. Uh, Hallmark Snoopy tie-dye. This one actually went out of the country. Someone paid uh, $30 to get this shipped to them. I, I forget where it was going to. 
Uh, this is a little Hallmark brand. So yeah, it cost me, I believe it's ten ninety nine to ship it out. So the rest of it's profit, so $19 I made. So that was a good little Snoopy. Gun Baby Tucker Giraffe. Giraffes all of a sudden gotten hot. I've had a ton of giraffes and they weren't moving. Now these last, about the last month, uh, giraffes have gotten hot. I've sold uh, probably a good 10 uh, giraffes in this last month, month and a half. Anyways, he sold for $15.29. Pete the Cat, um, he came out of, I just pulled him out of one of my Goodwill bag hauls. Got him listed. And he sold pretty fast. You see he's got cool little paws. I'll show you his paws. His paws are really cool. You can see he's got little little pads on his paws. And he sold for $14.39. Uh, Krista Playful Plush Thanksgiving Turkey. This one's a monster. <laughs> uh, if you saw my shipping video on Monday... You saw how big this turkey was. He's a big chicken. <laughs> he has a little hole in his feet. But yeah, this guy's pretty heavy. I think he weighed almost three pounds. So I smashed him into one of those padded flat, which now I'm out of. I don't know. I've been calling uh, or been emailing USPS to send me some for like four months. And they still haven't sent me any. And now I'm completely out. But anyways, he shipped for $7.50 because that's what the platted padded flat rate goes for and he sold for $35.99 so you have any big fat turkeys throw them up there <laughs> uh, build a bear panda bear uh, he's soft eyes soft eyes you can put for children or babies um, yeah nothing special about him he's got pink little paws and he sold for $16.19 Hickory Dickory Dock. This was a cool uh, little mouse that I found. Um, don't think he had any... Oh, he's from Commonwealth Toys, but yeah, he wasn't really... There wasn't any up there, really. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I could speak. Um, there wasn't really any up there, so I just threw him up for $12. He was a small little mouse. He's 9 inches. Um, and he finally sold, but it actually took a little while. I thought he would sell really fast because I was just trying to get rid of him. Um, but yeah, he took a good year, year and a half to sell. Here's a Valentine's purple handprint puppy. Uh, no wonder he took forever to sell. That is a terrible photo. <laughs> uh, it's not even cropped correctly. Man, that was bad. How did I let that pass? But anyways, <laughs> uh, Valentine's stuff is selling. It sells all year round. This guy sold for ten seventy nine with free shipping, so... Yeah, got rid of him. Probably should have relisted him and fixed the photos, but it's too late now. He's gone. Uh, this is a Brachiosaurus dinosaur from the Jurassic period. Uh, dinosaurs sell all the time. People are always looking for dinosaurs, all different dinosaurs. So if you ever find a dinosaur, just throw it up. Even if it's like Holiday Home here, which is a no-name brand. I mean, throw it up. People are looking for dinosaurs. Just make sure... You try to get the correct dinosaur so people can search you properly. He sold for $14.39. Uh, classic toy company, Purple Flying Dragon. This is one of the um, smaller ones. This is a little 16 inch one. Well, I mean, 16 inches isn't small, but there's a. I have a bigger one that's like, I think it's like 30 inches, 28 to 30 inches. There's a classic toy company brand. Um, they're hit and miss. I mean, classic, uh, if they're dragons or something special, Classic Toys are great, one of the great brands to, f to source because people will want the different colors and stuff. But they're kind of a cheap toy, so you got to watch out for rips and tears in them because a lot of times, especially if you get them like in the bins like I do, they will have like minor tears and rips. Or you either have to repair or you have to disclose in your listing. So when you buy classic toy companies, make sure to give them a good... Make make sure you look over them very well. Especially um, if you have to buy them for like 2 $3. Masha and the Bear, a Netflix show, super popular right now. I had about five different 
Masha and the Bear, and they all sold within about a month and a half. And they probably would have sold sooner if I had them listed sooner. But yeah, this is a Netflix series, Masha and the Bear. He sold for uh, twenty six ninety nine. I think it's a he. I've never seen Masha and the Bear. Uh, I, I'm guessing he's a he. <laughs> uh, Disney Parks, Todd Fox and the Hound. This is one of the ones that have a huge fluffy tail. They like wrap around your neck. It's kind of like a, I guess like a scarf I can, you can wear it or a shawl. I don't know what you call them. A boa? <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a huge tail plush. I guess you can go out of the house with them around your neck. I don't know. <laughs> uh, all people are crazy, so that's fine. <laughs> um, he sold for $26.99. Food Fight, this is one that surprised me. I didn't even know about Food Fight or not. Uh, accidentally found him. I only found him because he had a tag. I would not have known what this guy was. Um, this is a soldier squirrel with goggles. <laughs> um, yeah, I've never seen a Food Fight guy before. He's kind of it's kind of crazy. Anyways, he sells for a decent amount. I put him up for uh, 20 bucks or 2199 he sold for 1979 so yeah keep your eye out for these crazy looking creatures here Baloo the bear from Jungle Book um, Baloo always sold well for me and I, I mean sometimes they take f some time to sell just waiting for the right buyer but uh, mostly the blue ones sell the other color ones and eh, they're they're still hanging around my store, but the the blue ones and the the not the brown one. The brown one seems to hang around in my store, but the blue and I think there's a green one. Those do pretty well. Uh, Cream Ten Bunny Rabbit from Pier One Import. This is another one that went out of the country. I think this went to the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Someone needed a bunny rabbit in the UK. <laughs> Uh, they paid over thirty dollars to ship it to the UK. It cost me ten ninety nine to ship, so I made a decent amount of money on this little Pier One Imports rabbit. F A O Schwartz, Toys R Us brand. He's like a Pegasus. Let's see if I can show you the. There's the F A O Schwartz button. Oh, he's got a little bit of dirt right there. Hope I got that off. Hope I didn't forget. Uh, if not, they'll yell at me. Yeah, um, Toys R Us. Those, these always do uh, very well. Any FAO Schwartz, except for like generic bears. I mean, they'll sell, but they don't sell for a decent amount like these will. Um, this one sold for $19.99. Uh, two Easter Bunnies. These are, I've had these for a long time. Uh, used to be on the green background. I had to retake all the pictures. I had, this was one of the first huge buys that I did at um, around Easter time, after or after Easter, when I, they put them off like seventy-five to ninety percent off. Um, some of the I believe it was Rite Aid, Rite Aid or Kmart, I forget which one it was, but they had a big old bin of them, and I'm like, all right, and I scooped, I put like two baskets full of them, and got them. I think they paid only like thirty cents a piece for them. And been selling them in lots of two for a long time. I have green ones and blue ones and a whole bunch of them. Anyways, uh, this one sold for $15.99. I still got a bunch left and it's been years. Gotha Gray White Kitty Cat. Um, he's just a regular old kitty cat. Just wanted to show you um, that even basic animals like from Gotha will sell and got $13.99 so not a great but I mean only paid what 50 cents maybe a quarter he was just a thrown in in one of the Gaylord lots so uh, Valentine's is selling well plus he's a dinosaur so it's a double <laughs> double-edged sword I, I'd guess to say <laughs> uh, he's got the heart on his paw little bow from Valentine's but yeah don't be don't don't be afraid to throw up Valentine's right now um, Valentine's all all holidays sell year-round so 
he sold for $17.99, so someone needed a Valentine's dinosaur for some reason. <laughs> uh, last but not least, this is a Knott's Berry Farm monkey. I like to show you these because people like to toss the ones that have like theme parks and stuff away. And I've sold tons of California Knott's Berry Farm. I mean, uh, Six Flag Magic Mountain, of course Disney. But anything like that where it has a name on it, don't forget, don't don't be scared to throw it up. I mean, people are looking for animals that they got on their trips or animals that they they lost they bought on the trip and then they lost it. So they'll they'll look at your store and they'll look up what they lost. So don't be afraid to throw up even if they have a name on it or even a year on it. People are looking for all that stuff. Anyways, um, that's all I have for you today. I cut the video kind of short because it is super hot right now. It's like 102 right now. So I'm like sweating. I'm hot. <laughs> uh, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Take care. Uh, I'll catch you Friday when I do. I have five more of those blue boxes to do. So I'll catch you Friday. Bye.